Hello world, today I'm going to show you how to use a switch statement with fall through in JavaScript. Our exercise today is going to print the verses of the 12 days of Christmas to a web page. Notice that each verse of the song includes the lines from all the previous verses. So we'll start out with the first verse here, a partridge in a pear tree. The second verse is going to have two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Three French hens, two turtle doves, partridge in a pear tree, etc. All the way until you get to verse 12 and it's going to have all of them. Alright, let's get started. In our HTML document, the important things to have here is to make sure that you're linking your JavaScript page to your web page here. And also have a paragraph with an ID of output. Okay, in our JavaScript file, we're going to have a function called start. This is going to be the first function that executes. I'm going to have an array here called cardinality. It's just going to have the numbers first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. all the way to twelfth. Then we're going to have a blank string that we're going to add stuff to in our for loop here. Our for loop, i is going to be our iterator, it's going to start at 0, go until it reaches 12, and increments by 1. Then we're going to start adding paragraph tags to our string that contains all the lines of the verse. Then we're going to add more lyrics. On the cardinality from our array up here, and we're on the first day of Christmas, second day of Christmas, etc, etc, my true love sent to me. And we're going to have an if statement here. If i is equal to 0, notice we have three equal signs to 0, that's just standard practice in JavaScript. If we're at 0, which means the first iteration, this point up here, we don't want to print the word and, so we're going to have a special case where it prints that line without the word and at the beginning of it. Otherwise, if we're past the first verse, then we're going to execute the switch statement, checking our iterator. It's going to look for a case in which it is true. Is i equal to 11? Then it's going to do that. Is i equal to 10? It's going to do that. And it's going to find the first true case, and then it's going to execute every line of code inside the switch statement until it reaches the break command. Now this is useful in this case because, well, we want to print all of these for each of the verses. So like our second verse here is uh, two turtle doves. We want to print two turtle doves and the partridge in a pear tree also. Alright, our default statement. This is particularly useful for debugging. Notice our comment here, this should never happen. If you have a value in here that is throwing your switch statement off, you want to know what it is. So we're just going to put an alert statement here i is equal to and then whatever i is and we just put a break statement there and that concludes our switch statement concludes our else we've got to close off our paragraph and our string and that will end our loop then we're just going to print everything out to the web page our outputs gets the element by id and the inner html is going to be the string that we just built and last statement we're going to add an event listener to our window whenever it's done loading it's going to execute the start function well that's all there is to it i hope this was helpful thank you for watching